Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my very very first inspired by makeup and as you'll know yesterday was the Victoria's Secrets fashion show and seriously who doesn't love the Victoria's Secrets angels? They are so pretty and bronzy. So I've got inspired by Kendall Jenner's look yesterday. If you want to know how I achieved this look then please keep watching. Hey yes, yeah, so I'm starting off with my EX1 foundation in the shade F200 and as you can see it's much darker than my natural skin tone but this is needed because because all the Victoria's Secret models are always tad and perfect and remember to bring it down to your neck as well because that'd be weird if your face was darker. Then I'm taking my EX1 concealer and I'm going to mix it with my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Serum just to make it a bit more smooth so that it blends in much better into my skin. And then I'm going to apply a yellow concealer onto my under eye area just to sort of as a base for my skin tone concealer. Then I am taking this beautiful, beautiful primer from Urban Decay, it's called Sin, and it's just a sample that I have, but as you can see, it is super glowy and champagne colored. This is really the key to this look, and I'm going to apply it onto my whole eyelid, as well onto my lower lash line and the tear duct area, because I'm going to apply shadow there as well, and I'm going to apply it onto my nose as a base, as well as a highlight, onto my cheekbones, and onto my chin, and onto my cupid's bow as well, and as you can see, it it is so beautiful and natural, it is perfect. Then I'm going in with my Tarte Light eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use this nude melony color and I'm going to apply it onto my whole eyelid, bringing it up into my crease and just really blend it out everything as a base. And then I'm taking this light brown color and I'm going to apply it into my crease area and just really softly sweeping it outwards a little. Then I'm taking this medium dark brown color and I'm going to dot it along my crease as a guideline. I'm going to blend out everything very very well and I'm also going to bring it a bit into the outer V area with circular motions. Then with a smudging brush I'm going to apply the same color into my lower lash line as well as my upper lash line and I'm just going to do it onto the outer parts of my eye. I'm really just slightly winging it out a bit. And then I'm using this light yellow shadow as a base along my inner eyelid. Then I'll take my Urban Decay Naked One palette and we are going to use the color Virgin as well as Half Baked. I'm going to apply Virgin into my inner tear duct area first and I'm putting Half Baked on top of it just to make everything even more glowy and bronzy. Then using a dark brown pencil liner I'm just going to line along my upper waterline. Then I'm going to warm up my eyelash curler with the palms of my hands and I'm going to curl my lashes obviously. And then we're going to apply one coat of Last Sensational Mascara, at least that's what I do. I just find this mascara with the second mascara that I use perfect as a combo. And then I'll fill in my brows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Soft Brown and this Essence Make Me Brow Gel. And Kendall have really straight brows so I'm trying to mimic that by keeping the arc of the brow as low as possible. And finally we are using some concealer and I'm just going to pat and blend it in with my finger. And then I'm taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara as soon as my first coat of mascara is dry. And as I've mentioned, I just love this combo because I feel like the first mascara just lengthens my lashes and the second telescopic mascara just really gives them the volume. And with the second mascara, I'm also going along my lower lashes. Done with the eyes, now to contour, I'm using my Smashbox Shape Matters palette and I'll take these two matte contour shades, a darker and a lighter one. First the darker one to contour underneath my cheekbones, along my jawline and also along my forehead. Then going in with the lighter contour shade and a fluffier brush just to accentuate the shadow underneath my cheekbones even more. The performing while doing the makeup is optional. <laughs> I love the combination of two contour shades, it just makes the contour look so much deeper. And then I would just contour my nose as I usually would and focusing most of the product really along the bridge of my nose. And of course, don't forget to nicely blend in the contour. Then I'm taking a glowy mineral bronzer from Elizabeth Arden and I'm going to apply it onto my cheekbones, not underneath. Also along my chin, 
on the tip of my nose and basically just anywhere where I really need some color on my face. Then I'm taking this coral colored Elizabeth Arden cream blush and I'm going to apply it onto my cheekbones on top of the glowy bronzer that we've just applied. And I'm also going to apply it onto my lips which is a very pretty nude color. To finish the look I'm going to apply this coral very shimmery lip gloss. And now let's do our hair! I am using my Remington Pearl straightening iron and we are first going to part off the hair into two sections and then I'll just curl section for section and what I do is I always pull the curl a bit longer just to make the curl a bit more softer and not too defined so I curl and I pull and I curl and I pull again I don't really have a technique with this I'll just go into different directions take different sized sections of hair and I'll just really randomly curl them but the most important thing is to really lightly pull the curl a bit apart but when I get to my bang I will curl them towards my face on both sides but with the rest it's just the same random curls random directions pull curl pull curl when everything is curled I'm just going to give it a good shake and just loosen up all the curls then I'll put some Moroccan oil onto the ends of my hair and I'll put on some glam gel into the lengths of my hair to make them shine and glow and make them look super soft then I decided to put on another golden necklace and we are basically done with the look. Thank you guys so so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this look and that you're having fun recreating it. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see each other the next time. Bye! Those things here, the giveaway is open starting today and I wish you all much 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 of luck.